So in this problem, we're told that a bowling ball of mass 7.3 kilograms and radius 9 centimeters rolls without slipping down a lane at 3.7 meters per second. Calculate its total kinetic energy. So we have this ball here, or bowling ball, and we know it's given a mass and radius. It's also traveling at some speed, and what we're trying to find is the total kinetic energy. So when they're talking about total kinetic energy, they're talking about two things, or the addition of two things. So in order to solve for this, so we'll call it Ke, or just K total, so Kt is the total kinetic energy, is equal to just the normal kinetic energy or the translational kinetic energy, which is basically just the normal kinetic energy when something moves. Uh, and then we also have, though, the rotational kinetic energy. So this is just the normal kinetic energy, and this is the rotational kinetic energy. And we're going to have to solve for both. So you should know that the normal uh, formula for... Uh, just the normal kinetic energy or the translational kinetic energy is one half mv squared. So that's the for, uh, formula for the normal kinetic energy. So we would put that in the formula, but we also have to add the rotational kinetic energy. And so the formula for that, uh, you can just denote this by kr. I'm just using my own symbols. Uh, you can use whatever you want, but the rotational kinetic energy is one half multiplied by the inertia times the angular velocity omega squared. Okay, so keep in mind omega, the formula for it, uh, V equals R omega. So this is the formula for it. So if we wanted omega, uh, we would divide by R. So omega is equal to the velocity divided by the radius of the object. So that's the omega. Uh, what about the inertia now? Because we need the inertia in order to solve for the rotational kinetic energy. So for a sphere like this, I recommend looking in your textbook and you can see the formulas depending uh, for the inertia depending on the type of object but for a bowling ball like this we're going to assume it's just a full uh, sphere so the formula for that would be 2 over 5 m r squared where r is the radius m is the mass so this would be the formula here for the inertia and we have omega so if we want to solve for the rotational kinetic energy it would just be a matter of really just plugging in these values so 1 half times the inertia, which is 2 over 5 m r squared. And then you would go ahead and multiply this by the uh, v over r squared, because we're doing omega squared. So v over r squared. So if you do this, you're going to get v squared and uh, over r squared, meaning our r's would cancel. And then 2 over 5 times 1 half is the same thing as 2 over 10 which is the same thing as 1 over 5. So just simplifying these two, and then you would just have mv squared. So for this bowling ball, the rotational kinetic energy is equal to this formula here, 1, one over or one fifth uh, mass times velocity squared. So now we have just the normal kinetic energy and the rotational. So it's just a matter of adding them up here. So the total kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared plus 1 over 5 mv squared. So 1 over 5 is the same thing, or if we want to combine these, uh, you can make this 5 over 10, and then this would be equal to 2 over 10. So adding them is 7 over 10. So this would be 7 over 10 mv squared. So all I'm doing is just simplifying this. 7 over 10 mv squared, and really, we just got to plug in the mass and velocity now. So notice that we actually uh, didn't need the radius because it canceled out, which uh, was good, but... So it's just 7 over 10 multiplied by the mass, which they tell us is 7.3 uh, kilograms. And then multiply this by our velocity value, 3.7, and make sure you square that. Don't forget that. So plugging this in, we have 7 over 10 times 7.3 multiplied by 3.7 squared. So you're going to get that it equals 69 point... Uh, nine five five so basically just about 70 so i'm gonna round to 70 so it's going to be equal to 70 joules because keep in mind what we measure uh, kinetic energy in we measure it in joules since it's energy so the total kinetic energy is equal to uh, 70 joules so just keep in mind the main takeaway from this problem was uh, using the rotational kinetic energy we had to include that because uh, it's rotating like this. So uh, yeah, just keep that in mind and then the formula for it. But yeah, so you add them up and you'll get about 70 joules. So this is your answer.
and hopefully you found this video helpful.